What's going on boys and girls of the interwebs? Today we're talking Rugrats, hence the Nickelodeon hoodie. Got some characters here, got some guy Chucky here, guy Angelica up over here. Let's get into the video. Like I said, we're talking about Rugrats today. If you're like me, that was your favorite Nickelodeon show ever, ever made, because it's so good. I still got a VHS tape here. I'm about to show it later, actually, in the next clip, maybe. I loved Rugrats so much, I would go to a thrift store uh, when I was a little kid with like my aunt and my grandma, and I would go straight to where they had the VHSs and stuff. I would just search for a Rugrats tape. I would try to find one every time we were in there. But anyways, let's get into this video. Let's go. So Rugrats, nine seasons across 13 years. They had the show, they had the movies, they had like uh, VHS releases, like for example, a Rugrats vacation. They had the Tales from the Crib. They had, like they said, the movies where they met the Wild Thornberries. My favorite, the Paris movie, a lot of people's favorite, I think. And then just the Rugrats movie where uh, Dill was born. Now, if we look back at the pilot, Tommy had his red shirt. He wasn't even like the same guy. The characters were way different back in the day compared to where they ended from. So was the storylines. He, he didn't have his classic blue shirt they wore all the time. Uh, the babies weren't really main characters. They were there, but it was mainly about Tommy and his experiences and stuff until about season four or so when they started getting the other babies involved as like main characters as well. Like many other Nickelodeon shows and just TV shows in general, they had many specials. They had Christmas specials, Valentine's Day specials, Thanksgiving specials. Uh, I like when the Valentine's special is one of my favorites with Chucky. Uh, I really like that one. And then the Christmas specials, oh man, those were always my favorite. I even got one on VHS alongside, I'm a dummy, I meant DVD, with the all grown up Christmas specials, and then Danny Pham and Fairy Odd Pants and stuff. So the creator of the show thought it would be better to make the ugly looking babies. Like if you look back, look at Phil and Lil, actually all of them really, but they didn't look that good, okay? Even Angelica and them, they weren't the cutest babies around. They thought making the cute babies wouldn't be as good as making the ugly babies for characters for this specific show. They thought the ugly babies would be like a better representation of like childhood and all the stuff they were going through anyways. It just fit better with the show and the concept they had. Now the show went through many different animations. Uh, I mean, just look at the first couple seasons and then look at season nine if you just want a big gap. Even though that is just like, I guess from one year, 13 years later, big animation difference obviously. But they drew the characters different and stuff. Like uh, Phil and Lil, for example, first they had Phil with ear or without the earlobes and it was only Lil so they could tell him apart but they also gave Phil earlobes and then they took him back away midway through the season so they changed up the animation a lot uh not just how the characters look but the style they were doing by season four the animation changed pretty big it was probably the biggest difference because they started adding more details to the characters to the backgrounds things like that uh maybe we'll get into what happened between the first three seasons and then season four to nine because it is a like pretty important thing, but this is a brief history, so we'll see how much time we have left. <laughs> so to close up the animation segment here, by the ninth season, you can see it just got smoother and it was better animation, but they kept like the little crudeness they had from how the characters would look or act uh, still in there to still give you the vibe of the Rugrats still, so they didn't change like their primary thing. That way it still got better and the characters uh, art style grew and things like that, but they still kept like, what made the show stand out in the first place with the ugly stupid babies and things like that. <laughs> so what's cool is they didn't keep this world as this small little thing where they're playing in their playpen or playing in the backyard the whole time. It eventually grew, like the movie for example where you got Dill, you got you got a new character there, you got Dill. Uh, season 6, you got uh, Lulu. I had to go look it up, she got introduced in season 6. I forgot her name though, it was the lady Grandpa got married to. And then you got Kimmy getting introduced in the Paris movie, including her mom, their dog, and then just a bunch of other side characters. So the Rugrats world actually grew pretty big by the end of their time before they went to all grown up. Now, if you're like me, the second opening they ever made was probably your favorite, because it was mine. I liked how different it was, how the camera followed them through the room and then to the backyard and all that stuff, and it had all the characters in it now. So I thought that was real cool, because like Susie, she wasn't in the first theme song. So if we look back at the first one, the one thing I noticed, well, I assume everybody does, it's kind of weird, is that cat robot that never appeared in an episode or never talked about or anything. So, kind of weird, but I guess it adds something to the song, like, what's up with that cat robot? But, either way, it was cool. Second theme song, best one, though. 
they started that in season six and it ran all the way to season nine. They didn't change the theme song anymore. All right, I'm probably just gonna end it here because this is just a brief history, okay? Uh, maybe I can make a longer video. I don't know how well this is gonna do or how many people will see it or anything. So we'll see how that goes. We do, we talk about preschool days. There's so much more to talk about. This preschool day spinoff, the all grown up spinoff, the all grown up special uh, in the first place, then that went to the spinoff. Um, <laughs> All the movies. We could talk about how they're the only Nickelodeon show that have a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And we could probably get more into the hiatus that we didn't get into this point between like season three and four kind of era. But until then, thank you for watching TTV. I'll see you guys next time.